place where eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Leaving until George is free. Exactly. How do you propose we do that? I thought you might have a brilliant idea. We've got to give the police something much bigger to worry about. What do you mean? We have to make them look for somebody else. A higher profile. Great idea. We'll be members of an old organization. Social Liberation Front. That's pretty close to home, isn't it? Don't worry. If we pick the right targets, we tie the police up in knots. Something the SLF would have done itself. What are we talking about? While we set everything in motion to free your brother, the Social Liberation Front will give the city an ultimatum. One by one, the SLF will assassinate these men. And with each death, will be the demand for Josh's release. It will be just like old times. for the death of Arturo Piaggi. A captain of industry will be targeted for death each day. Georges Verlaine will remain in prison. I've heard that before. How can you be so stubborn? You're a target. My dear girl, any man who chooses to stand up to life is a target. 
We're always assuming that the weapons of terrorists are bombs and guns, when their greatest weapon is fear. To succumb would be to abdicate to barbarism. So you won't leave Paris? No. Perhaps I should bring this back later. Stay, right there. Don't just stand there, Bennett. Say something. Don't just go on with your business like nothing happened. What are you doing? Uh, Peter? Yes, sir. What's up? We have a problem. Just what the world needed. Another terrorist group, the Social Liberation Front. I haven't heard from these guys in a while. What are they after? Well, they're demanding the release from prison of one Georges Verlaine. Well-known safecracker, currently awaiting trial for a major bank job and a murder. Okay, so what have they got, hostages? No, this group don't take prisoners. They've already murdered one well-known industrialist, Arturo Piaggi. And they're going to go on killing captains of industry every day until Georges Verlaine is free. So we got our work cut off for us. absurd. Yes, I knew Arturo Piaggi. And yes, we were involved in the same industrial summit. He's been also connected in half a dozen other schemes that I had no part of. So you won't take this threat seriously, huh? Of course I take it seriously. A threat like this changed my life. As you well know. Now look, the Social Liberation Front has been inactive since 1983. Of its original 19 members, eight are still in prison. Four died of natural causes, four died as a result of their activities, one became a farmer in Lyon, and one entered the church. The only one unaccounted for is Veronique Dayard. The only photograph of Veronique Dayard was taken some 10 or 12 years ago. And what was her principal role in the operation? Oh, she was one of the brains. So it is possible that she's reorganized the group. She's recruited new members, and now they're back in business. Come on, she can't be that difficult to find. Sir, I do wish you would reconsider taking yourself out of circulation, at least until this matter is settled. We have the safe house. Absolutely not. Under no circumstances will I hide under a rock. Have I made myself absolutely clear? The answer is no. Yes, we know all about them. I have stacks of dusty files between my office. You know, Peter, we're taking the threat very seriously. I mean, the Social Liberation Front, if they're back in business, means hundreds of men and thousands of hours of investigation. Well, we've already taken care of some of that for you. Oh, how did you manage that? Shall we say we have our ways and our means? Philippe, let me do a deal with you. Yeah. Everything I find out for 72 hours with Georges. If my people don't come up with anything, we'll simply back off. Oh. That arrangement sounds familiar. Well. Okay. I see what I can do. Then, for starters, all I can tell you is that the SLF was disbanded about seven years ago. Mm -hmm. All of its previous members have been accounted for except for one, a woman, Veronique Dayard. Mean anything? Yes. That's interesting. She must be putting together a new cell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me, what else do you know about this uh, Georges Verlaine? Apart from being one of the best at cracking locks, he's working with his brother, René. René Verlaine, released from the Saint-Michel psychiatric facility in Lyon two years ago. No priors, but a very long history in antisocial behavior. OK, but why would a group like the SLF want to get involved with these Verlaine brothers? Well, they've always funded their operation through major thefts. And George Verlaine is one of the best in the business. And where is René now? Whereabouts unknown, but believe me, the police are really looking for him. Not much to go on. No, but cherchez la femme. Find Veronique Diane, and we may find ourselves a lead. Sounds like it's right up my alley. <laughs> no, not this time, Luke. No, 
You're going to get your vacation after all. At a resort with very special accommodations. <laughs> I'm kidding. My vacation? Mm-hmm. Petey! Probably isn't too expensive. No, 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 no. Don't worry. No. no, this one's on me. Thanks, buddy. like worms or something? No, it's a fungus. Come on, Sandy. I mean, ain't we taking this when in Paris stuff a little too far? I mean, can't we just get a burger? for the boat ride. It was great. And we'll see you in a couple days. Okay. Bye-bye. Au revoir. Bye. Okay. Perfect. We should move from the apartment anyway. This will suit our purposes very well. It's my lawyer. What have you found out? Not too much. This guy ain't exactly the talkative type, you know what I mean? Oh, I did hear through the grapevine that a uh, woman's coming to see him today. Says she's his sister. Look, the SLF are living up to their promise they took out an American today. Pretty much at home. Got that picture of Veronique? Yeah. You may have just got lucky. George's visitor is no more his sister than you are. Yeah. Mm. Veronique Dayar. Red dress, blonde hair, white bobby socks, black shoes. She's all yours. You must be getting lonely in here. You should find yourself a pen pal. You can find one in the personal ads, and they're your zodiac sign. It will keep you up to date with what's happening on the outside.
You know, if you just let George escape, the SLF will stop the killings. Sorry, Peter, I can't do that. Now, getting a man into prison is one thing. Trying to arrange an escape is quite another. Yeah, I understand. I'm not going to ask you to jeopardize your career. Oh, what about the time in Marseille? <laughs> oh, that was completely different. And Nice? Yes, all right, all right. But I did pay my dues for that one. That's right. But the only way I could guarantee his uh, security is by secrecy. The prison guards and myself are the only ones to know his name. And uh, if he gets in any trouble on the inside, he'll be treated like any other prisoner. But if one should happen, you will let them out onto the outside so we can follow them. That's really impossible, Peter. Oh, come on, Philippe. You and I know that nothing is impossible. the yard is that you're responsible for that Bordeaux job. You're gonna have to prove that in court. Whoever proved that Bordeaux job made off with close to a million. Well, if it was me, I'd go plain to get out of here. How much? Well, if I had the money, now I ain't saying I do, but uh, 150 grand. It's negotiable. Valid, here's the newspaper. I thought you'd be more interested in the comic book. Prisoner's rights. If I want the newspaper, I get one. May I? S'il vous plaît. That should cover it. Are you sure there won't be anything else? Not here. The bench across the street. to help. With what? I know what you're doing. And what's that? You want me to spell it out? How about the SLF? 
I want to be part of the new social liberation front. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. I know about you from Jean-Marc. What do you want? I want in. I can get you Uzis, mac tins, as much plastic as you need, and I know how to use it all. I'm good. How do I know that? I found you, didn't I? Call me at this number. She wants to join the movement. Who said that? She was a friend of Jean-Marc's. Rene, she's exactly what we need. Let her do the killings and she can take the rap. But I like doing the killings. I got word from a man inside. If the suspicions are correct, they are communicating through the personals on La Gazette Francaise. I've had my people check on all that's place since uh, Georges Verlaine was arrested. That's according to Red. Good. All right, well, I'll take this page and when you look at those. Hello, please call. I'm sorry. I love you, Jean-Pierre. Okay. Um, attractive older woman seeks intellectual stimulation in the afternoon. <laughs> Some desperate people out there. Mm. René, this is Danielle. Veronique tells me you're a patriot. I had a personal friend who was a former member of the SLF. He died in jail and they said it was an accident. In any case, I believed in what the SLF was doing then, and I believe in it now. How much do you believe? Try me. Follow me. Search her. Put your hands behind your head. Please. It's all right, she's clean. What do you want me to do? Get your revenge. Who's the target? Let's stop close to home. <laughs> what is their crime? Their crime? Their crime was renting this boat. I needed the boat. What? Their innocence? You want me to kill two innocents? Listen. If murder was my goal, I would need you. Besides, what are you planning to do with the bodies? Drop them into the Seine? Do you think you wouldn't have the police crawling around here with two dead tourists? She's right, Renée. I thought you had a cause I believed in. Obviously, I was wrong. How do I know you, you won't go to the police? You don't. But I hate the police even more than the corporations. Call me when you have a suitable target. Wait. What do these men do? Which one? What do you mean you have to kill Alexander? You might call it my initiation into the Social Liberation Front. It's one hell of an initiation. 
Well, it's either that or I turn René and Veronique over to Philippe Bibron right now. No, 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 we don't want to do that. Not until we're absolutely convinced they're the only two. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It's just those two people. Have you got any ideas of numbers? No, not yet. I'm still being tested. If I pass the initiation, I may be introduced to other recruits. <laughs> oh, well. I guess Alexander's got to die. Too bad. Seems a terrible waste, huh? <laughs> hey, give me that! Job? I should get him looking for a job. Looks like you're gonna be in here a long, long time. That's what you think. Listen, did you mean what you said before about the money? What do you mean, mean like God? No. If you've got it, you'd be willing to share some of it to get out of here. Go on. 50-50? Dead. Check out page 28 of the Gazette Francais. What's that? I don't know, man, but whatever's in there lit up his face like a Christmas tree. The next thing you know, he's talking about breaking out of here. Oh, he's taking me with him if I can afford the price. Okay, we'll look into it. Great. Oh, one other thing, Pete. These guys, they do know I'm one of the good guys, right? Ah, yeah. That was something I wanted to talk to you about. Don't do this to me, man. Don't. I'm sorry, sport. <laughs> I mean, security. Oh, we can't take the chance of a leak. One other thing, Pete. Yeah, sure. What do I talk to about getting a new lawyer? Me. Just perfect. Link. Your father on his way? Yes. Good. Now, what else do you turn up in the personals? I found two new ones. Okay. Sexy, sultry, sensuous swinger looking for suave, sensitive, smiling man with a very big... Yeah, okay, Susie, thank you. I've got the picture. What's the other one? Dr. Scorpio has a cure. Midnight Tuesday. Mm. Dr. Scorpio, huh? According to the files, Georges Verlaine is a Scorpio. Okay, well, that probably means that the jailbreak is planned for midnight on Tuesday. Keep your eye out for any other Scorpio ads. Sinclair! Sinclair! What the devil is going on? Now, I want an explanation, and I want it now. Calm down, Alex. No, damn it, I will not calm down. And as for you, young lady... Bye now. Dare I ask? What is so important that you had me dragged all the way over here? We have excellent information that you are the assassin's next target. And where did you get that from? The assassin. And who is that? Nikki. Perhaps you better fill me in. I have prepared a light lunch, sir. Would you care for a glass of Bordeaux, or perhaps you'd prefer a Chablis? Is this a conspiracy? This is a very sophisticated weapon, don't you think? Indeed. Custom made. Well done. Small bore, high velocity. Very good. I think she'll be useful. She'd better be. If she fails in any way, I'd kill her.
now. The Social Liberation Front has just terminated the life of another capitalist. Alexander Addington is dead. Release Georges Verlaine, or we will continue. We did not respond to the demands of murderers. So you have signed another death warrant. Yes, Philippe. Everything went off fine. I can't keep the heat off Georges Verlaine any longer, Peter. In light of the assassinations, they want to move him to solitary. Listen, pal. We're pretty damn sure that the prison break is scheduled for tomorrow at midnight. You're gonna have to give me some more time. That way, we can get the lot. All right. But you better be able to pull this off or I'll be back tending bar. Don't worry. I guarantee that won't happen. Right, Susie. I think it's time to talk to the late Alexander Addington. Satellite link. Ah, Bennett. How are things at your end? A bit cramped and far from a complete pantry, but we are managing. I'm sure you'd like to talk with Mr. Sinclair, sir. Oh. Ah, oh, Peter. Oh, you look good. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Everything all right? Oh, yeah, I'm just fine. Thank God Nicky's such a good shot. But I'm afraid you're going to have to do a few running repairs here, apart from the window. There's a very nasty bullet hole here in the floor. Oh, Bennett, Bennett will see to that right away. And I suggest you use bulletproof glass this time. Well, Bennett's good at that, aren't you, Bennett? Look, I'm afraid you're going to have to stay there another 24 hours or so. If the SLF find out that you're still alive, it could be fatal for Nicky. Yes, well, as long as you send me some racy reading, I'll be all right. OK, will do. Peter? Yep? Um, look at this. What is it? Today's paper, another message. Dr. Scorpio says, read the book back to front. What does it mean? I don't know. Whatever it is, we don't have long to find out. You performed very well. I couldn't have done better. It was my duty, wasn't it? I told you I'm committed to the ideals of the SLF. Yep. Yeah, so are we. Right. When do we make our next move? I can get you any weapons. Explosives. Numbers are no problem. You'll discuss that with Veronique. I've got... Uh, I've got other things to discuss with you. Discuss what, René? I want you to do something for me, Daniel. Anything you want. This book. Deliver it to George Verlaine. Why? You're a soldier in this army, not a general. What about the couple? It's not your problem. I don't like her. But for the moment, she's useful. Come on, who's fooling who? Georges is not the literary type. What are you looking for? What are signs of tampering? You sure they didn't give you a clue? As Veronique said, I'm just a soldier. Huh. Yeah. You found out about any other members of the group? No. I've given them lots of opportunities to order explosives and weapons, but I'm not getting any response so far. She's very clever. Yeah, too clever. I mean, we're going to have to decipher this message. I have to keep an eye on those kids on the watch. They've seen too much, and Renee is dangerous. So is she. Yeah, OK, well, look. Let me study the copy. You just get this back to the jail. Take care, soldier. Well, in for you. Somebody thinks you're a lot smarter than you look. You don't think I look smart? Not from where I'm standing. Very funny. Yeah. 
so you have the back. And the front. But the last page of this book is the same as every other edition of Les Miserables. Yeah, but we're missing the point, aren't we? It's not in the page, we said it ourselves. It's in the illustration. Back to front. The answer lies in the diagrams. to your price when the hell are we getting out of here we have no way home yeah yeah you the last ct left bank right bank all interconnected now and if i'm not mistaken the jail is right here mm, the tunnel's running right underneath it <laughs> okay can you get me a floor plan of the prison yeah right away a ground floor and basement i'll uh, get me the prison director please What's the problem? Help us! Medical emergency in 605. Get us out of here! You gotta help us! There should be no problems. If anything goes wrong, I'll do what I have to do. I hope you like fireworks. Overnight. Uh, Philippe, come here. Let's come and have a look at this. See, this is where the tunnels run underneath the prison, which is right there, with an outlet here. Yeah, under the prison hospital. That's the prison hospital? Mm -hmm. huh. Well, then, no wonder Dr. Scorpio has a cure. Come on, we're out of here.
sent the beleaguered honeymooners off for an uneventful two weeks in the Bahamas. So we have a happy end. Well, somewhat. We've just spent the last 24 hours informing the world that in some cases there is life after assassination. <laughs> and I just spent the last 24 hours in jail, thank you very much. Yes, sorry about that. So the Social Liberation Front was merely a two-person operation? <laughs> Three person, whose sole purpose was to divert the police's attention from an impending jailbreak. I hate to admit it, it was a clever plan. Not that it uh, fooled me. Anyway, I'd like to apologize. You want to apologize? And thank you. Is someone getting these on tape? For your next assignments, you'll find everything you need in those envelopes on the console. Knowing your individual taste, I'm sure you'll be satisfied. Assuming that France will be one of them. I'm dispatching each of you to the other three corners of the world. I don't want to see hide nor hair of any of you for a fortnight. Thank you. Hmm. Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> As the world grows more threatening, the more I realize how wise old FDR was when he said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself.